Assalamu alaikum everyone, good afternoon. So welcome back to this subject, Science, Communication and Society. So last week we have looked at the um, science and the media and today we will continue looking from that discussion. We are, current, we are now focusing on the science journalism. Right, so this is part one. Next week we're also going to discuss about science journalism. So let's begin. So this is the outline of today's lecture. We're going to look at what are the rules of the science journalism. Prior to that, what is science journalism? And then we're going to look at um, who are these science journalists? And also a bit of, not really a bit, quite, uh, we're going to look at the history of science journalism. And finally, in this topic, we're going to look at the issues in science journalism. So I hope that you are now familiar with this um, diagram. Um, so we, I'm um, just going to show you a more um, descriptive, um, of a more descriptive version of this diagram in the next slide. So this is the descriptive, a more descriptive um, diagram. So overall, we're still talking about science communication field, but we are specifically looking at science journalism. So what is science journalism? Science journalism basically conveys reporting about science to the public. The field involves interaction between scientists, journalists, and the public, as well as the scientific um, community. So like I said, you must have be familiar with this diagram. Um, on your left, you have the science in the scientific community, whereas on the right, you have the public. So in the public side, you have the popular science, which are the um, medium where science being communicated, such as um, magazine, newspapers, um, movies, films, um, documentaries, um, articles, um, videos, whatever that you can find on the popular platform that is reachable to the, sign, uh, to the public. Um, in the middle here, you have the media or the science communicators and the science journalists. So we're going to look at the role of the science journalists now. Science journalism basically reports scientific development to a wider audience rather than, you know, in the scientific communication, we discuss about the communication within the scientific community. They usually um, disseminate the information or the research finding that they have through um, journal articles or through conference. But here you have science journalism. Um, usually communicate, usually, usually people in the media or probably some scientists who do this journalism of science and then they report this to a wider audience or we would say people who have no background in science um, or maybe people who have background in science but they have different background of the subject matter. Um, they usually provide analysis and context of the research but usually in a more simpler, in a simpler words, in a layman terms. And then they uh, sometimes conduct investigation into provenance and reliability of the research and researchers. We will look at this later, whether they really do this. And then later they share the brick stories of major significance to a wider audience. So we have looked at their role, the role of science journalism. Now we are going to look at who are these science journalists okay um so these science journalists are usually a person that reports scientific developments to a wider audience um, a good science journalist will be well trained and report the facts independently neutrally and in original manner so basically whatever the scientists have told them through their interviews or through their search they will provide the information to the public in the context they should not and must not change the context they usually that's basically what we ideally think of what science journalists should be doing but we're going to look at what the issues later on in the video that i will ask you to look at um, he or she might be a general reporter or specialist or correspondent for science news and programs you must know that in a news organization 
they usually have general reporter where this person will be asked to go around and just find any new new any new events for them to report but there are also a uh, certain there are some news organization where they practice what do they call what do they call it um so they have some sections uh, so in these sections are some journalists who are somehow specific or specify in their tasks so if they are usually work on health news coverage so they will work on health news coverage but if they are working in sports so they will be working in sports so they call this section as a beat so this is um science beat or sports beats or health beat or uh, entertain entertainment beat b a t so that's just what the term that they use in the organization in the news organization so she could be a general reporter but she could also be a specialist correspondent for a, a science news or program um, they usually work in broadcast in tv um, radio or also printed media and also online media